going. Hey, it's Uno Jack again, and the countdown begins. Ten left. That's it. Yes, it's, this is the final countdown. Da da da. Right, and thankfully I did not choose to add music here because you know copyrights. Blah blah blah. Looking at you, Sly Cooper. Music. Okay, it's time. Which I haven't heard back from yet, by the way. This will be April second. I mean, hopefully. Still, that's when the strike is gonna expire. But I still hate you. Anyway, first off, we have Hippity Hoppity. Easter's on its way. Two thousand. <laughs> Two thousand, it is. Ah, oh, it's so close. I can taste it. Hippity hoppity. Easter's on its way. Which of these words oh, is what? not what's known as a kangaroo word? Masculine, feminine, honorable, or blossom? I'm gonna go with blossom. Oh, you are... N no, no. No, the answer is feminine. And here's why. Wait. You're the one who came up with the question. Hang on. I'll just, <laughs> no, I'll I know what a, can up. a kangaroo word is a word that happens to have a synonym within the word itself in the correct order. So, for example, masculine has M-A-L-E in order, which is male, a synonym of masculine. Oh. Blossom has bloom. I don't know what honorable has, to be honest. Honor? <sighs> Maybe. Yep, honor, I That's guess. You'll have to trust us that there's one in there. <laughs> Sorry. So female would be femi. Well, that's, that's, it, it doesn't that's have it one, which be... is why it's the answer that you didn't get. If there oh. were two M's in it, then I then you could use the word fem as in femme fatale, but it only has one M, so it doesn't count as a kangaroo word. Yep. We can we can combine the N's. Too late. <laughs> That'd be feminine. Sleeper cell. Oh dear. I'm gonna read off seven things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it. Hope this one works out, cause I enjoyed it. Uh, this is your choices are an esports league or a brand of mattress. <laughs> All right. So it's esports or a mattress. A thousand bucks if you're right. A thousand off if you're wrong. Here you go. Dream hack. Yes, Duxiana. Mattress. Yes, King Pro. Esports. Yes, Helix. Uh, mattress. Yes, Spark King. Esports. Yes, Apex. Esports. Yeah, Sinus. Mattress. What the hell? Clean sweet. It was. What? Are you kidding me? <laughs> You haven't done that in a long time. What? Yeah. <laughs> Where did that? Ha! What? Well, I have a lot of things I could thank. Uh, for that one, the TV in the other room has like a ton of esports channels on it for some reason. So <laughs> I esports channels. It, so I scroll through it on my way to find the weather channel, and I see them on the screen. Jeez. And two, which neither of y'all get. There is a mattress commercial that they air in El Paso whenever I visit the town that I see a lot. And I hear a lot about mattresses. I also know that nobody makes short. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> you better provide that clip in this episode. I will. Okay. Well, on that note, we have Bennett Foddy. Uh, well, uh 1,000. 1,000 it is. Bennett Foddy. Which of these video games has a playable level of getting over it with Bennett Foddy? Far Cry 4, Goat Simulator, Jet Set Radio, or Just Cause 4? Uh, Just Cause 4. He's right. Yeah. Just Cause 4 has a, has a, the the famous pot and hammer up on the mountain, and when you enter it, you can play an actual level of getting over it with Bennett Foddy. How did you know that? Nobody makes short. Okay, no, we get it. Did, you know it. <laughs> seriously, I need to know. 
Okay, well, he'll tell me later because we have Into the Unknown. Into the Unknown! Cut off there a little bit. Probably because you louder. It's a Frozen 2 thing. 2000. 2000 it is. I know it's a Frozen 2 thing. I just learned about it like last Tuesday. Because I saw the movie finally. Into the Unknown. How many times did you watch Frozen in the time it took to play the longest official tennis match ever? Sorry, I couldn't think of any tennis moves. <laughs> movies. Movies. 2.5 times, 4 times, 6.5 times, or 10 times? I'm going to go with 4 times. Is he correct? More than that. Six oh, 6 and a half. 6 and a half. Takes an hour and 42 minutes to watch Frozen. The longest tennis match ever lasted 11 hours and 5 minutes. <laughs> At that point, at around the fifth hour, I would just be saying, here, take the win, I give up. The last set was 70 games to 68. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it, it was at Wimbledon, and I'm pretty sure Wimbledon has now capped the number of games you can play to avoid this ever happening. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was Wimbledon, not Wimbledon. Did they televise this match? Yes. Well, maybe. I'll check that later because I'm curious. I would not go what watch the Dower whole thing. What did Network TV do? I'm not going to watch the whole thing. I have better things to do. Good. Yeah. But on the way, we have what would Selena Gomez do? She'd pick 2000. She might. I don't know. I don't know. Ain't no job, it's question time. Anyway, what would Selena Gomez do? I need to be in two places at once, but I can only use oh, a spell please. from Wizards of Waverly Place. Which of these the spells pilot. could I which of these spells could I use to duplicate myself? Guile J Time Stay, Literarium Terrarium, Echibana Utusis, or Tom Noonan Kinesis? I'm gonna have to go with C. You're correct! Ejibano Utusis is the cloning spell. Guile's J Time Stay makes time freeze as long as you can hop on one leg. Literary and Terrarium puts you into any book of your choosing. And Tom Noonan Kinesis is the telekinesis spell. Of course, who could forget that one spell where it's like, knock, knock, who's there? Not you, something like that. Is. Uh, knock, 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 who's there? Disappear, disappear, who? This appears to be a door eaten by termites. What? What? Why the U2 joke, though? Oh! U2. Uh, the spell is, the spell is Edge Bono u 2 sis It is. Bono is in U2, Edge is in U2, u 2 sis I wouldn't know. I've never listened to U2. I know! Like, no one who watches Wizards of Lisa, Wizards of Waverly Place <laughs> would listen to U2! I've listened to a little U2, and I saw only, I only saw one episode of Waverly. I anyway. watched the whole damn series. Seven. And Eight. both damn movies. How the horror sound for stalling noises. Six thousand dollars. Cool. Nice. Round one is dead to me. Radical. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled. In case you care about things like that. Okay, back to business. <laughs> Ba -ba -ba -bum. Six, uh, back to normal. Six, Thank goodness. Indeed, this one's more than a feeling. Oh, I love that song. Not so much as question type. Question. Is this about the band? No, but it is okay. about Boston. $10,000 are up for grabs. List these Boston sports franchises based on the number of titles they have won from most to least. New England Patriots, Boston Celtics. I forgot to change that in the title. I changed it to the Boston Red Sox, and I did not change... Whatever. Celtics, Red Sox, Patriots, Red Sox, Celtics, Patriots, Red Sox, Patriots, Celtics, or Patriots, Celtics, Red Sox. Okay, so it's really the... Red Sox. Red Sox. Yes, it Yankees. is. Yes. Thank you. So... And the answer I thought was going to be it's not here. Which the, but... Ah! There we go. I'm going to pick C. No. Actually... The Patriots have won six Super Bowls. Uh, the Red Sox have won nine World Series. The Celtics have won 17 NBA championships. Good for them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. And this is all Greek to me because I really don't care. I didn't give them enough credit, honestly. 
I gave the Red Sox too much credit. That's my problem. Give none of them any credit. Let's see how much credit you give to work dough. Four. Four thousand it no, is. No, four dollars. <laughs> no. Four dollars. This ain't no daily double. <laughs> work dough. I found a really old tub of Play-Doh today. It has some weird instructions on how I'm supposed to use this. Do you know what they are? Used to clean wallpaper, used to feed your ferrets, used to unclog your sink, or used to repair dead batteries. Okay. Ah, uh, C is calling my name. Is he correct? Did you choose C? Yes! Oh, no. C used to clean wallpaper. So yeah. Well, it wasn't even my second guess, so I don't feel that bad. The point was back in like the 30s that uh, coal furnaces would just dump off so much soot, and you couldn't get wallpaper wet. So Play-Doh was happened to be like the go-to for cleaning wallpaper of all things. And then it took 20 years for someone to figure out that kids liked to play with it because it was Play-Doh. So I was about to say, okay, little Timmy, I need to borrow your toy so I can clean the walls. <laughs> what the frick is that from? <laughs> I don't know. I made it up. <laughs> okay, maybe it's from the reboot. That's not really a reboot of the new adventures of old Christine. Sure. Oh boy. A masterful inquiry. Four thousand. Four thousand. It is. A masterful inquiry. Which incarnation of the master became Bri ah, Pri British Prime Minister wait. under the name Harold Saxon? Roger Delgado, Derek Jacoby, John Sim, or Sacha Dewan? Derek. Mm, no. He had it. It, it was John Sim. Derek Jacoby was the, was uh, Professor Yana in, in his disguise, but John Sim became Harold Saxon. Cool. And he won and destroyed one tenth of the population of Earth. Hooray! Ooh, what's your sign? It's number nine. All uh, right. Uh oh. I did something for this. Oh yeah, Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth and Frankenstein. Yay! Octopus Coffee Queen Elizabeth. I have a Carmen San Diego Funko Pop now. What's the tag? 10,000 bucks! You should probably win it if you're thinking about making money today! <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Correctly predicted seven matches of the 2010 World Cup. Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Is this the doctor or the monster for this one? The doctor. Thank you. Uh... Dang it, it could be the queen too, but... I'm gonna go with D. How... Did you think that How was- How the hell? <laughs> I, I'm just curious. Because that was a trick, I was really gonna pick C? No, it was A. Paul oh. the Octopus became famous for, uh, I don't remember exactly how he did it, but he got seven. He, he, only went, he was only asked to choose the winner for seven, and he got all of them right. Wow. Well, fine, it wasn't any of my real guess. So. Well then, that was an interesting one, but now we have Here. what in the world is going <laughs> on <now>. in Carmen. <laughs> I probably should do six just because I need to make up money. Are you gonna? Yes. You nice. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna regret this. Yeah, it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is going on in Carmen? I was trying to watch the opera Carmen, but I don't understand French. I mean, where does this Carmen even work? A bar barber shop, a restaurant, a cigarette factory, or a cotton spinning mill? Uh, I'm going to think. <laughs> think fast. I'm done thinking. And I'm going to go with a restaurant? No, it's a cigarette factory. Dang it! And that's oh, all no. I looked up about Too bad, Carmen. So sad. That's all I looked up for this question, so. Okay. 
Well, I need to ace this now if I want getting negative one thousand. Do I get it? I'll be lucky if I get negative one and negative five thousand at this point. Let's see. Jack attack time. Soon as you see two words on the screen that go together, buzz in. Two thousand bucks if you're right. Two thousand off if you're wrong. Every time you're wrong. And careful, cause not all matches are equal. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Well, I have just the perfect jack attack to help you with your score. Just kidding! Welcome to history class. You need to tell me what year these events happened. Eleven thirty-four. Nah. <laughs> Nine fifty-four. You were right around there, but it was ten sixty-six. Columbus sailed the ocean blue in 1492. Never mind, he got it! Nineteen forty-five. Indeed. I better know that one. Pretty hard, hard. 69. <laughs> Negative twenty six thousand. Hey, well, that was bust. Yeah. Well, yeah, but yeah, huh. Uh, we live and learn, don't we? Yes, we do. That kind of day, but there's always um, more, but not too many more, so... See you tomorrow! I'm not going to say that very much anymore. We're, we're, we're almost done. Year in clearance continues at National Furniture Liquidators. Now with even more discount. When it comes to value, quality, and selection, nobody beats shorty.